While you guys are trying to finish this up, I'm already about a month into working on our next project to get it started. <laughs> my phone, phone <laughs> keeps ringing. I'm getting emails. And anyway, I was talking to my next homeowner here. His name is Brock, and he told me a word that I've never heard before. It's it's kind of like a few words put together into one word. It goes like this. Holler at me if you need me. <laughs> Holler at me if you need me. But it's one word. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Holler at me if you need me. I think I'm going to start using that. Yeah. We're switching gears again here to something totally different. Again, installing termite bait stations around the house. Yep. That's something that has to be done by code here. And we could hire a company to do this, but our inspections department will allow us to do these ones ourselves for about, I don't know, a fifth or seventh of the cost of having a, another company come and do it. And they're pretty much the same thing. They're very easy to put in. And if you get confused, I was just reading here, you can call the termite information hotline. <laughs> Look at we that. We should call them I up. should. I should. Well, all right. So the, the trick is these have to go in the dirt. It comes with this fancy little auger, which you can uh, take the handle off, the T handle, and put this in a drill. But they break immediately every time. Okay. I've tried it. And it's a wild ride. It's no fun <laughs> with a battery-powered drill. Um so anyway, I have my own method here for putting these in the ground. I like to use this rotary hammer drill with a chisel. Okay. But I put it in drill mode. Oh, it's yeah. hammer too. I don't think uh, I need hammer, a hammer. I leave it in Maybe hammer. it'll help. It's pretty hard dirt. Okay, I'm gonna do these 10 feet apart. I have my first one placed, so I'm gonna measure 10 feet and go for it. Yeah. The spacing on these for the coats here is 10 feet apart, three feet out from the house. So we have like 30 of these. Right about there. I'm gonna go about 32 out from the house, about right where that crack is. Okay. Okay. And here goes nothing. Now, if that, that's pretty fun. If that wasn't easy, I don't know what is. And then uh, the installation portion. Okay. It has this neon little rubber thing right here. And what that is, is some kind of indicator that when the bait has been eaten, maybe, by the termites, that thing will pop up and indicate that you need to replace the bait. Yeah. And I think whatever the bait is will kill the termites too. I think that's the plan. I don't really understand all of it, <laughs> but I know we have to do it. We can call the hotline. You guys could have a debate over that. <laughs> mm. oh. So the other part of doing these traps is that the inspector needs to know the type of product we use and the placement of these traps. And that's part of our final CO. We can't pass final inspection without that information that this has been done and what it was. So uh, this particular brand, and we're not affiliated with them, did come with this booklet where you could make a drawing of the placement of your traps and turn that in. And of course it has the information about the traps themselves so that when you go to get your CO, the building inspector can just look at this thing mm -hmm. and know what has been done. And this was about 120 bucks for this house. Exafluor. We had some extra. Ron. Ron. Perfect. And that's 0.5%. The other 95.5% is other ingredients. I'm sure it's some kind of wood-based product. It's cardboard, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's gotta be something they wanna eat, right? Right. Perfect. I heard they like mac and cheese. <laughs> Termite, maybe a little ham sammy in there. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Feels good. Um, well, this is part of my kid's old bunk bed. Oh. I took apart. I needed I a- I thought that was a piece of trim that you like prime gray or something. No, I needed- to be flat. I need it for a backsplash in the uh, master bath. Oh yeah. And uh, I had this piece at home. I thought this would be good. I'm just gonna paint the wall color. Paint the wall color. Yep. He's gonna paint it. Yo, guy. Uh, You're being weird over right. there. <laughs> Blur that out, right? All right, what are you doing? All right, we're gonna pre drill through this layer of the cabinet and then install it with these trim head GRK. Oh, trim head GRKs. It's a T10 uh, okay. driver. I'm not gonna put a ton of them, probably three or four across the front, and then see if I can get a few in the back. Oh, 
Bye. Well, that'll be permanent. Come on. You'll put some weight on that, Jono, just so it doesn't try to jump up. Let's be all right. All right, let's sail! They'll never find this screw, by the way. Put some pressure down. You ready? I don't know where he's at. It's all the back corner. No, no, no. Back left, left. To your left, 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 left. To your left. To your left. To your left. To your left. Keep going left, 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 left. Keep going left. No, over here. Over here. Left. You should probably go left. <laughs> Can you put a basket down and pull you out? Got it, bro? No. Oh. Watch your handle. Good job. Got it. We ended up putting like a dozen screws in this or more. So basically, if anybody wants this top off ever, I don't know. I don't know how you're going to figure out where those screws are. But I feel confident that it will not move the way we did it. So that's what I'm looking for. Changing gears again, we're nailing on this shoe mold that matches the counter. And that's it for the backsplash on most of this. And doing a little pro tip thing here to find the studs. I just tapped on my receptacle here and studs that side. Center of it's about the middle of that face. And so I nailed it. And then to find my next stud, I'm just going over 16. And that should be one. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's a good trick if you don't have a stud finder, your stud finder is not working. This will get you on the studs. So uh, we got some gravel. Yep. That's nice. We got a great way to grade it out here since we don't have a machine. This is actually what we're doing. Is it working? Yeah, it's working. It turns out you don't need a machine. All you need is an old piece of decking and a good back. All right, now you're getting it. You're just driving in the ditch now. Okay, come on back, you're good. All right, that's a little, okay. Do those ball tires are coming in handy now, they're so smooth. All right, Tim, just a couple more times. Like a steamroller. That's getting it. Got our wet saw set up here and I'm gonna cut these glass tiles. We only have enough exactly of these though. So I'm gonna do a test cut out here on the edge from like the front and the back and see what looks best as far as not chipping, hopefully. I know that this may not be specific to glass tile cutting blade. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna work. You can see the first one totally chipped out. I'm glad I did that test cut though. I guess I'm gonna see if we got another blade or can rework the design to not have to cut them. All right, check it out. That also broke the corners off bad. So it's not I, too bad. <laughs> okay, do you trust me? I <laughs> no. should, but I don't know. <laughs> Dang it, that was not, I was expecting, oh yeah, yeah. Weak answer. I'm changing the design of something with the backsplash to make it look better. Okay. Do you trust me? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, I'll let you look at it then. Okay. So in order to not have these cut edges over here exposed, and we cut these at the line, we're gonna turn those babies vertical and we can put the cut, you got to take a little off, but it'll be buffed by another tile and then we'll paint this the wall color and basically border it like that. And I think that's gonna look better and more finished and everything. <laughs> look at your face. Is, is she buying your crap? Or oh, whatever, dude. This is amazing stuff right here. 
So I'm gonna have to take, you can see about, I don't know, an eighth or three sixteenths off the bottom of this one to get it to flush as well. Working on this new backsplash design, I'm still having to grind a little of the length off these tiles. They're longer than they are wide times two, which normally it's a three by six. They're exact, like opposites. Uh, so the back is chipping off where it's painted on the back of this glass. So we're taking a little of the wall color. You want to hit that J on the back? Luckily, it's like the same color as the wall. So if we do the back like that, and now you look at it from the front. Back like that. It hides the fact that that stuff is chipped off the back. We got a little in the face too. And now I'll glue it to the wall. She still doesn't trust, she's watching like, I don't trust you still. Know, but hates, it is gonna be good. She hates it. It's gonna be so good. Front doorknob. Yep, yep. Here it goes. I hate drilling holes through these finished doors to put that bottom piece in. Fortunately, it's always this scary. Nuance, that bottom piece has a slide on oh, it. Oh, so it's a little adjustable. So you can actually... That's pretty smart. Good design. Probably too many people called crying about having a hole in the wrong spot. Where's it go? It goes in this space here. Today's video is brought to you by Trend Tool Technology and their Any Door Hinge Jig. If you don't know, it's very difficult to route hinges into doors and jams without some kind of fixture or jig. They have to be repeatable and very accurate. The Any Door Hinge Jig is configurable to fit door sizes up to nine feet tall. You can move the hinge locations anywhere you like, and each hinge is adjustable in size. In addition to that, there's adjustments for different thickness doors, as well as different thickness and depths of hinges. And you can set all of these adjustments securely with just a Phillips head screwdriver and your hand. This kit also came with a high quality router bit and the collar that goes in your router base plate to guide it around the jig, along with the pins that actually attach the jig to the door while you're routing. And Trend's twin rail system allows you to move the placement of the hinges anywhere along the jig, even where it splices together. Your overall placement is set by this hook stop that hooks over the top of the door. And then when you go to route your jams, you just butt this to the top of the jam, giving you an eighth inch gap from the top of your door to your jam. I gotta say my overall impression of this jig is that it's super high quality and easy to use. I have used router jigs that I've made. I've bought different brands of router jigs and used them for 20 years. We've routed it, hinges without using a jig. I've <laughs> done it with just a chisel before. Uh, and this is definitely the easiest way to go. It's repeatable and accurate, and it's actually kind of hard to mess up. You can buy the Any Door Hinge Jig on Amazon. It comes in three different versions. The single kit, which we have here, the complete kit, which also gets you this door lifter to help you hang the door to the jam. And it also comes with a door stand to help you hold the door vertical, just like we have here. We built our own stand, check that out. Not as nice. And if you don't already own a router, you can go for the ultimate kit, which includes a router, a really nice dust mask and everything that's included in the other kits. Thank you to Trend Tool Technology for sponsoring our video. Make sure to check out those links in our video description and let's get back to work. Get some black paint, some sponge sanders. <laughs> John has been consolidating all the random crap that's spread out through the house. We got paint, caulk, sanding pads, uh, nails, and this is all just bits, different screws, brackets, hand tools. Hand tools. There's, it's amazing how much stuff that you get out during a job and then you didn't put it away. And until the end every job i know and then once we get to the shop this is all got to get unpacked and put somewhere or it's just as good as I like, had a, thrown away i just had a brilliant idea what's that at the end of every job we have all this stuff left we just put it in a box and then we have a free giveaway <laughs> Back at the job this morning for what I think is going to be the last day of us working out here. I've been saying that for a few days now, as you always do near the end of a project, you think you're done every day. You're like, we're going to finish. And then something, 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 and days go by. But I think today is the day, so let's get started. I was feeling so confident this morning about finishing early even today that I jammed my mountain bike <laughs> into the car. Look at this. Yeah. 
So not sure if that'll really happen this afternoon, but I hope so. This might also be the last day of old Silver Dodge work truck. Jamie's getting a new, well, not a new work truck. It's a six year older. Yeah. Uh, 2,500 Chevy. Uh, Cause it's a heavy duty truck and it was a really good deal. $3,000. That's right. Buy an old truck that's cheap. So you're not tempted to buy a new truck. It's expensive, right? I think Jason's kid's going to drive this thing around town. You know, I feel bad for him. Yeah. Because everybody's going to think it's me. And like everybody in town that knows me, they try to swerve and hit me. No. Yeah. No, no, no. You're keeping all of it. No, you're keeping it. This is what I'm getting into first here. The plumber mocked this up and the P-trap comes down, boom, hits. Uh, and it's about a half inch or more from not hitting that. <laughs> and then the plumbing down here comes up and hits there. So I'm gonna cut a huge chunk out of the back of this shelf. I did check with Vermeil to make sure that was okay even though it kind of has to happen. Um, we're just gonna hack it out and that way the plumbing will work. And this is a pretty common problem with newer cabinets that have all these drawers and shelves and all this stuff. Like the straight up old school sink bases, yeah. there was nothing. I think this is for sticking your hot like hair styling oh, yeah, yeah, thing yeah, so you don't yeah, burn yeah, your house yeah, down. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. think that's for a pipe. It'd be nice if there was just no shelf. Right, but there is. Oh, man. I'm glad I didn't cut right through I'm that. I'm glad you didn't too. Aaron's gonna be real happy about mm -hmm. that. And it doesn't look bad. No, you didn't. And I completely bad. eyeballed the cut. Amazing. I'm no expert, but I think you have to pull the cord on that thing. And <laughs> Jamie is so adamant that you have to get all the air out of the line before you start it up. Oh, really? I never do that. I don't do it either, but uh, he claims it's that's what you do. Okay. Is I on or O on? I. Eyes on. That makes sense. Why O wouldn't be on? <laughs> Now that Jason's got this pressure washing done, we've got to spread all of this hay on all of the dirt on this site to pass our final inspection. It's required by code here to have ground cover. No dirt visible, right? It's not hay. Oh, straw. Hay is what horses eat. <laughs> okay, it's not hay, straw. Let's do it. <laughs> oh my God. I'm just gonna grab a bale of straw here. They told me that was wheat straw, specifically. Huh. Oh yeah, now you're shaking. I think I'm gonna try to go thin to make sure we got enough. Or yeah. Not, not thin, but just not super thick. Yeah, I wouldn't go super thick. Yeah, we're cutting oh, it close here. It. We got oh. two bales. If it's wrong, Ray figured it. Okay. I, I told him to figure it. Hey, for our viewers that aren't farmers here, what's the difference between hay and straw? Hey. Um, I don't know, but I do know that hay has seeds in it. That's what I thought. And weeds. That's exactly what I said. So if you put hay out, you're basically planting Whatever. grass. You're planting weeds. And I think this is like a um, sterile... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing will grow from this. Yeah, it's just the stalks. Straw is cheaper. Straw is cheaper than hay. That's the saying. Really? I yeah. didn't know that was the saying. Hmm. Is that a really a saying? Straw is cheaper? Yeah. What does that mean? Hay's for horses. Straw is cheaper. Straw is cheaper. <laughs> okay, God, this is All terrible. Right. I don't know.
Here's something we noticed the other day. We never insulated or covered the bottom of our extension of the master closet. So we're gonna do that now before um, we forget about it. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Should we make marks on where the studs are at? Um, the joists are at? I guess we can just look on the outside of it. Yeah, they line up with the ones going out. Yeah, so. All right. kind of pressing these thresholds if we're gonna put any ripper strippers under the thresholds no. let's grab us a piece of dicking out of the woods talking about the outside well, you better and get just the freaking table just saw, then. i was thinking i was talking about the outside or inside first. oh insides i mean yes the outsides need it too but here's the deal jamie keeps saying we're done and i keep putting things away and then literally one minute later he's like oh yeah we got to nail this in and do that and i already put the polyurethane up water-based poly do that dude that, that thing feels like it's full of bricks Dude, I actually picked that up and set it back down because I was like, something's crazy right here. Careful, well, thanks for leaving it for me. <laughs> you may have a hoarding issue, Arlo. No, these, actually, this is cleaning out the garage. Oh, I cleaned out the garage and I was like, okay, you can't throw these things away. No, I would love to have that box of bits. You want to sell it to me for like 10 bucks? <laughs> I, get, I go through half of it, though. I give you half of it. All right, I'll take them. I'll make, I'll make it. We got Nate here. Uh, he said today he was putting out fires. So I guess that meant we were one of those fires. Yep, most uh, important. Called him like with an emergency of needing the dishwasher, pigtail, and this done so we could finish the shroud and get it all finished. So he's making it happen for us, appreciate that. Nate was trying to hook up our gas stove, needs a 120. Do you see a 120 plug in there? Nope. <laughs> I don't either. Bluetooth. Um, yeah, there you go, that's gotta plug to something. So. What we did was review the video from the day we installed these cabinets, and it did show a box in the drywall about right there that we just covered up with this cabinet. And what we're gonna have to do now is cut the back of the cabinet out and find that box so that he can put a receptacle in. And we can plug this in, but luckily it's behind a drawer, so it's completely covered forever. So I'm gonna cut oversized. We're gonna find that thing. There it is. Wasn't a bullseye, but I did find it. If I can get this out of here. There we go. Nate, I got great news for you. I found you a nice receptacle with two black wires and two white wires, just like you were hoping to find. Yep. So I'll let you do the magic here. We're in business. <laughs> he was like, I want to leave, but if I do leave and I don't know if there's two wires in there, then I don't know if we ran power to this thing either. Moment of truth here. I'll tell you in five seconds. Bingo. We got water on. Nice. That's a big thing. You could bathe a dog in that thing. I mean, not that I would do that, but you could. <laughs> Your dogs wouldn't fit. No, in my dogs wouldn't fit. <laughs> You're not shooting that to the tub, are you? No, I thought about it though. What do you think? Eh. No, that's why I laid it flat so I could shoot it to the floor. That makes a lot of sense. Hopefully, it's only going to connect to the floor so that it's kind of floats with the floor and I not shoot will. through to the subfloor. These are really short pin nails. Perfect. That's the plan. Arlo's last shots here. And these may be the last shots you see of Arlo for a long time. He's wait, I'm gonna come by every once in a while. He's gonna come it. by, but he's going into semi or maybe permanent retirement. Possible. No, uh, that's crap. So I'm just videoing every single shot that I can get Arlo doing here. Try to see if it's uh, good well, placement. That's the most work he's done in six months. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jason. There it is. You're retired, there, Arlo. There you go. You sure don't want one more? Yeah, no, I think it's good. <laughs> is that it, Arlo? That is it. You can undo it. Cool. There you go. There you go. <laughs> 40 years of doing construction, wow, and you geez. finished with a pin nailer. Yeah, there you go. That's the way to do it. 
Is that everyone's last threshold? No, just Arlo. Oh, crap. You, how long? You got another 20 years. <laughs> no way, dude. 20, I guess it is. Yeah, 20 years. Yeah, oh, my God. 20 gosh. years, dang. Yo, are you still fiddling with that drawer? Yeah. This well, is what I got to take out, all the shaded area. Well, that's pretty, but why don't you quit playing around <laughs> and actually get something done? Well, do you think we need to put back, like, vertical, or just cut it out and just jam it in there? Stuff no, might just fall out the back. It's going to go out the back. I think you got to put something there. I have some wood in the truck that I brought for something else I'm not using. Okay. So you don't have to re like, save it all. Okay. Yeah, so if you didn't gather, drawers that are sink bases never work out real good. Or I've never had one work out really good anyway. Not yet. You? We're trying. <laughs> we keep trying. Bingo. That's good. Mango. Let's build some walls, what sides. What <laughs> <laughs> yep. So we've got the trailer loaded, the truck loaded, everything of ours out of the house. I think we're done with what we have to do here. Uh, Arlo, congratulations, buddy. There you go. It's been our pleasure. It's been my pleasure, you guys. Like, really fun working with you guys. Absolutely. What are you going to do now? Oh, come on. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. More work. More, yeah, probably more work. Do. Now, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish a house that, hey, all you guys can, if you guys want to come back when it's done, you can take this shot on that house. Remember how everybody's like, you did that filming on it? Whatever, yeah. Oh, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We helped playing, you with the drywall. He's playing tennis with Jan. That's yeah, I've got, I got, I got to go try on tennis shoes this afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Happy, happy, happy retirement. <laughs> A peach. <laughs> when I used to work right. on the lots, oh. I used to have to... Oh, and they're icy cold. Oh, oh. thanks, sir. I used to have to peel a lot of the uh, transom wow. letters oh, off. Geez, look at that. This might affect Thank my mountain you. biking in a negative I way. I gotta go to the gym we can, later. We can pretend and not yeah. open them. Okay. We can open them. Well, I mean, I could probably still mount Mike. Let's just cheers them here. I'm, I'm not. I might cheers here. it and then have it later I'm tonight. I'm gonna cheers mine yeah. at the shop. I'll cheers and have cheers. everybody else's. <laughs> cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Mel, thanks for letting cheers. us build your house. Cheers. Thank you, you for <laughs> building my house. <laughs> As I cry. <laughs> Look over, and Arlen's got two of them. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah. He's like, this is a all right, boys, ready to shop it up? Yeah. I'm going to mountain biking. No, no, you're not going. You're going <laughs> to ride your mountain bike up. to the shop. That's about it. I got to go now. No, you're going. This is my one Look chance. Look at This ain't going to unload itself, bro. I know. That's Look at right here. <laughs> Wait a minute. I thought, I thought. I'm going to set up a GoFundMe for Arlo's retirement. He didn't ask me to do this and doesn't even know I'm doing it. But if you've learned something useful from Arlo or found him entertaining or just like the guy, I'll leave a link in the video description. You can throw him a few bucks and he'll have a better retirement. Thanks for building with us. We'll see you on the next one.